Good evening and welcome to the 7 of 7, the drink bar game show that explores the inebriated minds of our guests. Yes, it's no secret anymore. Everyone knows what we do now and we've discovered a winning formula, perfected it and we'll continue to serve it up to you week in, week out here on 7 of 7. Please know that this show is recorded under a controlled environment and our guests will be chauffeured to any location of his choice afterwards. Remember to always drink responsibly. Welcome to 7 of 7 and my name is OJ and this is our guest for today. Self-acclaimed bad boy with a good heart, he walked into the Big Brother house for the 6th edition of the show on the 24th of July 2021. He was his third runner-up and was seen as one of the contestants that could have given the eventual winner a stand competition for the crown. No stranger to controversy and you're no stranger to his news. He fancied the Australian lifestyle and would rather invest than flex. Gentlemen only, hide your girlfriends. Please make welcome the one your girlfriends loved, then hated, then loved again. Stiff contender for the BB Niger Season 6 edition, one half of Cross Gel, yes, fitness enthusiast on Otelia, A.K. Chuku, Sunday, Okonkwo, A.K.A. Cross. <laughs> Are your intro video to me? Wow. Please, who wrote that intro? <laughs> Everything is true, right? Wow, who did that intro? <laughs> that thing it needs to be some breakfast. <laughs> but it's okay. Hi, how you doing? Oj? I'm alright, I'm alright. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, Cross, the rule remains that you may ask a total of seven questions throughout the duration of this session. Um, all questions must be from entertainment, reality, lifestyle. I will attempt to answer all of your questions uh, while firing back with mine. And for each question we do not get correctly, we must drink. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this one? As I said, um, <laughs> not really, but yeah, sure, why not? Let's, uh, let's keep the ball rolling. You don't dare, so we will drink. <laughs> but first, you must choose your poison. My poison. Okay, all right. Okay, yep, this is my more. Okay. There's, one inside, there's one inside gist. Where crosses? You can't run me street. This is mine. I take this. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so cross, yeah. yeah. Okay, let me, let me. Okay, let me serve you first. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> 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 so cross, how's it been? Uh, yeah, from the reality show Big Brother Niger, how's life been afterwards? Uh, honestly, um, it's been amazing. It's been fantastic. I, I can't complain. Mm -hmm. It's up and down. It just has its up and down roller coaster. But we are pushing it every day. So, yeah. What, what was your initial idea um, why you decided to sign up for the show, then? Um, honestly, just to tell my story. Mm. Yeah, like I, I, I've had, um, you know, growing up, I've always had a very interesting lifestyle. And um, I just felt like, you know, I needed the world to know who I was and my story, especially mm -hmm. from my upbringing and what happened to me growing up. So yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. And you were, you were known as the ton of guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm known and, as and, the and, and that wasn't a strategy, whichever way, that was just you, just being you. Yeah, that was just me being, you know, me in a, in a nutshell. <laughs> I was just catching my own fun. You know, I was, I was brought into my elder brother's house and he has rules and regulations and I just had to like, you know, obey and also be myself. That's what I did. So yeah, that was it. Then when when you guys had the reunion for the show itself, yeah, you just look like that guy. That guys, this thing don't pass. I'm not like wow, why, why, why are you people dragging on the ground of these things? Was that intentional or that is who cross is like well, down the stress me. Normally, yeah, for this life, yeah, I, I don't get to a stage where I realize it. Now, only you go allow person to stress stress you. You understand? So, yes, we are all family, you know, to an extent, fair. And we all went into the house. We bonded to an extent and we came out. And now this is reality now. Mm -hmm. It's no longer like it is. Yeah. Cameras are no longer rolling. rolling yeah, true. So it's reality now. So reality has set in and you have to like, you know, do things that would make you have peace of mind mm -hmm. and make you grow f grow in life. Mm -hmm. So to me, I, that's what I wanted for myself and the people around mm -hmm. me, for everyone around. But 
some people were not really looking forward to that. So they wanted the bass boost. <laughs> okay, okay. Where would they? Where would they? Yeah. So I'm like, you know, screw this shit, okay. man. I'm off. I'm off. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, uh, cross. Yeah. Now that you already know what <coughs> God, we're this doing, thing, this thing looks like poison, man. First, Dang. as usual on the show, the seven of seven. Yeah. You have to. You have to smell your own products. Oh, Our culture right here on the show, we yeah. must drink first. Oh, we drink first. first yeah. Ah. Oh, yes, See, salut. This is like we're signing the dotted line that we are good with the rules and regulations. All right, Nobody say no more. Salut. Yeah. We'll be back. <laughs> oh, no, no. Yes, welcome back to the 7 of 7 and today we cross our fingers and hope to be sober by the end of the show. Yes, we have crossed the building, you already know. <laughs> and my name is OJ. So Cross, are you ready for this one? Yes, let's keep it. Uh, let's roll it. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Wait, why are you giving... What? Kilo we? <laughs> he said not Kilo we. What's the problem? <laughs> what are you trying to do? This one is for me. Don't yeah. touch this thing. Let's now see. you will fight here. Let's see how we <laughs> will fight here. Forget about TV, <laughs> don't joke with me. <laughs> Leave my drink here. No shake it. Yeah, let's play. Go side, they go. Yeah. So let's start with your name. Okay. <clears throat> Okonkwa is a very familiar name, meaning man born on Onkwa Day. Okay. One of the four market days of the Igbo four day week. Okay. Many also say it's an iconic name. This is because since the 60s, it was made relevant in literary arts as the name of the major character of, no of a novel, Things Fall Apart. Did you ever read that book or see the old series on television well i've heard about it a couple of times you didn't watch the this show yeah the series growing up i had mostly watched disney i'm sorry yeah i, I hardly watched anything just disney SMH. now that being said i know say you don't even know this one because you never even watch them <laughs> who worry. was the narrator of the book hi yeah 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 <laughs> So it is a book. Yeah, and it's from the book that the series came out. Yeah. So someone narrated it. Yeah. So the person now, you want me to tell who the person is? Mm -hmm. Do you know the person yourself? Before. Now me they ask me. How do you know the person? Because I think I watched the series. So the person, do you, does the person know you? No, the person doesn't know me. So no need I be. I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the person, you know the person very well. So you don't know the person. I want to know. I'm just so curious. you don't know the person. You know the person very well. Yeah. Is it a boy or a girl? You they ask me. I'm the one asking you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You don't know the person. You're asking me questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you want to know who narrated that thing? Yeah. Thanks for the part. Oh boy, this one a joke. Yeah, a joke. Okay, no one. Well, since you don't know it, I don't think me I know it too. I know it. Oh, so you know you, it. Yeah, but you don't. I mean, I think I know it. So who, is, who was the narrator? For the Ngozi. <laughs> Ngozi what? <laughs> I didn't read, I didn't remember her last name. <laughs> it's only Ngozi I remember. Cross the drink. <laughs> yeah, because you, you have to give me, am I wrong? Are you done? Is that your final yeah. answer, Ngozi? But am I correct? No, no, you have to, are, are, you, are you done? Is that your final answer? Ngozi in a chip, any chip. Is that your final answer? <laughs> yes. Okay. So cross drink. The narrator <laughs> for Things Fall Apart, the narrator of the book, is actually anonymous. So drink. Ah, you got me. Yeah. Drink, drink, drink. Before okay. forget. Okay. All right. No wahala. Yeah. A narrator is a person or character who recounts the events of a novel or narrative poem. In the case of Things Fall Apart, the narrator is never named as he recounts the events of the novel. However, he or she, for that matter, shows sympathy for the various residents of Umofia. Okonkwo is the novel's protagonist and is gifted, is a gifted athlete and a well-respected warrior. The author of this tragedy was none other than the late, great Chinua Achebe. You know he said Ungozi Achebe. I think yeah, you, he's a daughter. <laughs> that narrated it. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it's you don't? Is his <laughs> yeah, I remember now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ngozi yeah. is his daughter, yeah. his daughter. Yeah. first daughter. She narrated this. We don't Crap, know I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should have said his daughter. Like <laughs> is like, oh, that. Ah. Now, you, tra you travel a lot. Let's go to South Africa. 
You tell a very interesting story um, about how you were once arrested in South Africa during the lockdown. Yeah. Please tell us that story again. And what part of South Africa was this? And how did you get free? Okay, yeah. It was just like we went to see um, my sister's boyfriend. It was in Cape Town. Yeah. So uh, we're going back to the hotel. And, you know, police just stopped us. And they were like, you know what, come down, come down. They were like, where are you from? We were like, we're Nigerians. We're going back home. We were like, don't you see it's curfew? Mm -hmm. Past time. I was like, we don't know, we don't know because we've always been going out normally. normally. So why today, like, are you trying to like tension us? So we were like, come on, come on, follow us, follow us. And, like, and so they carry us. So we enter police station. So we won't go there. So unluckily, two of my friends were not being rude. So, and you know, Nigerian guys, they just want to scatter everything. So, the thing now was not looking bad. I was like, ah, damn, these guys are actually going to piss these guys off. Mm -hmm. Like, it's going to go off. So, I now, I now say, you know what, let me, I say, this car, please. <laughs> and I said, you, you've not said anything. What do you want to say? I was about to talk about other friends. I said, I said, guy, keep quiet, let me talk. He said, you see, you're very quiet. Your friends, your brother, very rude, very rude. I said, please, just give me a second. So and I told him that, see, sorry, that this is our first time in South Africa that it was just on holiday mm -hmm. that I came here based on my fans, that this was the first time. You were like, oh, really? Or like, yeah, that ah, that they even give me a South African name oh, that is called Siabonga. He now asked me what's the meaning. He said Siabonga. <laughs> and I looked at me. And I said Siabonga. I said, yeah. <laughs> say your name is Siabonga. I said, they give you the name is South Africa Siabonga. I said, yes, yes. Now look, now look, now look. And I said, hmm. I'm a good man. I said, check on social media. Check on social media. I said, he said, I don't use social media. Don't look. I don't use social media. I trust you. You look like a good man. You know what will happen? Yes, they were telling us to bring 10,000. Yes, before then, they were telling us to bring 10,000 dirham. Yeah, exactly. So, it's not dirham. 10,000 um, rands. rands, yeah. So, after this, and I said, oh, because of you, don't worry. You can bring 1,000, 2,000. Don't worry. You can bring 1,000, 2,000. I'll let you go. And I told him that, ah, we never have all that, ah, that I ah, finished Paco. all my money. That <laughs> and I look at me, I look at me. And I said, ah, because of your name, I'll let yeah. you people go. But stay away from this, your friend, they don't like you, they are not good friends, stay away. <laughs> and when I saw in free or so, we enter our car, start to go back house. And I'll, that's how we go. I, 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 I like this particular story, so I'm going to take my next question from this. Yeah. <clears throat> what is the meaning of Siabonga and what language is it? Huh? Yeah. Because now what's you use the escape? Yes. What's no. the meaning of Siabonga? Siabonga is And what uh, language? Siabonga is you know this thing now. Two face said it now. It's a um, Asante Sana. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Siabonga. Uh -huh. Thank you, yes. Thank you, because that's what South Africa they tell they tell me thank you because like they think I'm a gift to them. Bless so they always bless bless I don't mess up. So, so, so f what language is it? Um, what language it is? Is now the local language is probably uh, it's called uh, Swahili. Hmm. Yeah. Final answer. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. I'm to drink. Yeah. Ah, screw <laughs> I feel this. <laughs> Damn. See, Abonga is a Zulu word. Zulu, oh shit, sorry, Zulu, my bad. Yeah, Meaning, Zulu. we are grateful, or oh, thank you, or oh, you yeah, just drink half. Ay, damn. Because I know I messed up, I was already singing that to Baba song. See, Abonga, obrigado, thank you, oh, yeah, drink half. Ah, damn, half. it's half. Half. Yeah. But it's true, Zulu, my bad. Ah, so that name saved you, that? <laughs> yeah, I actually did. Since then, I actually like love the name because yeah. the guy literally, I was like, these guys are gonna put our database in this thing, and that would be messy. Mm -hmm. So I don't want my database to be there. Horrible. No, 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 no. All right, your turn right about now. My turn. Your question, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cross. I don't. I don't. I don't. I do not like that. Laptop All right. Because it looks no, like. No, I play very safe. I'm very simple man. Oh, I don't yeah. do too much wahala. Oh yeah. I have quite a few, but I'll just shuffle. <sighs> shuffle, 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 shuffle. All right. I don't like this one. Pick on like that one. I'm sorry, I really <laughs> picked it. All right, this is very interesting. Wow, okay. Well, as you all know, Cross is a very diverse, you know, human being. You know, cuts across all sectors. So this goes into, more or less, like, into politics. Say they read space. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, within um, the articles, regime, um, when I was the vice president, 
who was the governor of Anambra State at those period of time? Who was the governor of Anambra State? Because that's my that state. I'm from Anambra. Well, that was during. Atiku was the vice president. Obasanjo was the president. Yes. It's not Richard Sogo. It's Chris Ngige. It has to be Chris Ngige. Okay. Interesting. It has to be Chris Ngige, who is the minister of works and employment no. and unemployment. Well, employment. <laughs> okay. All right. So is it, that's your final answer? Chris Ngige, during Obasanjo's tenure, yeah. was the governor of Anambra. Your final answer? Cross why they want me now. Because actually, Okoro China in most states. Imo or yeah. Chris Ngege. Okay, so this is a very interesting one now. It's only Chris Ngege. Why you they want me? Like? During a bus and just ten yeah. goes Chris Ngege. Yeah. Well final answer. <laughs> no way they do like this. <laughs> final answer. Yeah. Yeah, you got that correctly. Half. Wrong. Half. Wrong. Half. There are two. two the governors. second one. Peter Obi. No. 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 Uh, who was the second person? Bianiju. <laughs> Bianiju. So there are two governors. So drink half. You got one. You got one. So he did have. The person did have. Nice correct. one. Nice one. <laughs> it's now Chris Ngege. It's now the Minister of Works and yeah. Unemployment. <laughs> As we still on strike, by the way. <laughs> yes, apparently. So half. No, that's not half yet. Cross C. No, no, drink more. You have to dig. Yes, yeah, half now. Good. Damn. You try, sir. Yeah. Please, you go on. Your uh, next question. Oh, <coughs> my next question. Oof. Let me see. Let me Take it easy. Don't they carry me go uh, coin no, affairs? No, don't worry. No. Okay. Uh, let me let me bring it down to. Let me see. Oh. No, let me play with you some more. Let me play with you some more. So, all right. <laughs> Imaginary <Okay>. book again. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> all right. Uh, this is very interesting. Not really. Is the answer there? Yeah, it's it's there. Yeah, well, this one is not too simple. This one is. So, <clears throat> according to the leading technology in the world right now. Cross. Oh, the. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Um, the front runner has uh, the front runner Elon Musk has become a pioneer of most of everything that's going into technology space right now. So I would like to know where was he born, what city and what country was he born in? In the country. Is that the question? Yes. Eh, Pretoria, South Africa. Ah. Now I'm meant to be that now. Okay. Elon Musk, Elon Musk that will just be traveling to space yeah. as if he's crossing Third Mainland Bridge to the okay. mainland. And okay. Got I got that, that right, Lavi. Thank you very much. Yeah, we all, everybody wishes to be like Elon Musk now because the bragging rights that he even has on social media, yeah, like yeah. I'll buy this one, I'll not buy that one, yeah. and I want to fly to space. Yeah, he's my mentor, I love him, I love him, yeah, I, I watch everything about him, I, yeah. I'm crazy yeah. about him, he's a very deep guy. So, so far, okay. I'm leading because... Seems like it. No, I'll one glass so. shot empty it's on not your the first side. person that calls police that wins the case, don't worry, mm. let's keep going. One glass shot on the side yeah. and half, then half on my side. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, let's go on this quick break and we'll be back. Ah, we're going to <laughs> break. Uh. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's still seven of seven, and of course, cross the bus is in the building. Yeah. So far, one glass shot on the side and half, <laughs> and I just have half on my own side. So I think I'm I'm in charge. I'm in control. But not be as you as you as you talk before we go that break. Be who they call police first, they win the case. Okay. So let's just have patience. Just relax, guys. Just All relax. Right. Just relax. All right. Let's let's let's, relax. let's see if you get this third question. Okay. Let's play. Cross Gel was hot on the lips of fans during the season of Big Brother and Angel. Uh -huh. You featured in alongside Angel on many occasions doing the Anki Panky. Uh -huh. <clears throat> to that extent, after the house, she claimed to be your love interest and as such carried on with forms that suggested a relationship was underfoot. You however dispelled those dreams during the reunion session of um, season six. You said you were you were both simply being good friends to each other. And it will seem you hotter immensely, by the way. But 
We would like you to prove that claim of friendship today. Since you were in a zone, friendship zone. Um, Cross. Yes. Tell us a bit about Angel's bio data. This must include a full name, a age, educational qualification, and origin. She's your friend. <laughs> that does not make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Cross it, that does not make sense. <laughs> now your guy. Yeah. So you're but supposed you to can, know, you you're supposed know your guy full name. Yeah, I can know I know my guy's full name. The yeah, age. I, I, yeah, okay. Where yeah. she's from. Okay, yeah. Then yeah. where she's schooled. Yeah, those are the questions. Um, Angel <laughs> J, J Smith. Hmm? Um, 22 years old. Oh, have you have you called the name? Yeah. What's the name? Angel Jeff Smith. Angel. J Smith. Okay. I'm I'm not I'm just saying okay so that you tell okay. me the next one. I don't know whether it's correct or wrong to you. Okay, though. 22, 23 now. Okay. Um, I think um, um state of Calabar. origin. No, not Calabar. Um. What is it called again? It's called... Oh. And it's called... Wait. Okay, so you have 10 what seconds. Is... No, I have, <laughs> I have seconds. I have... Um, Tick. Talk. I'm trying to remember that state. Tick. Not Talk. bios. Uh, Tick. Um, Acquire bond. Yeah, thank Talk. you. Educational qualification. I don't know if you're right or wrong. Yeah, no, is that your final yeah, answer? Acquire, Acquire bond. bond. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, educational qualification. And she stopped at um, Unilag. That's where she ended her educational background. Final answer? Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Cross apparently is a good friend. Yeah, he knows his friend, even though he should have been more. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Angel Agnes Smith. I will let that slide because she called her surname, uh, born in 2000. Attended Mary Gold High School for for A levels, mm -hmm. and of course dropped out of Unilag. And she's actually from Akwaibon. So you try. She'll be very proud of you right now. Okay. It's like that ship. Is that 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 friendship? No. What's what's up with that, by the way? Nothing. She's just doing her thing. I'm doing my thing. That's it. Huh. Uh, so nothing. When last did you talk to her, by the way? The Indian. Really? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, sheep has. I'm still talking. My next question, I would have wanted you to drink, but you know your friend. Mm. And let's talk travel, since you still travel a lot. You okay. touched on South Africa. How many African countries have you visited so far, by the way? Quite a number, at least over ten. Can you name a couple? Um, Ghana, Cape Verde, Seychelles. Rwanda, Egypt, Zimbabwe, okay. Ethiopia. Now I'm, now I'm thinking what to bring. Let's talk Rwanda. Okay, okay. Okay, Rwanda. Rwanda has a very interesting history leading to the 90s, climaxing into what we now call the Rwandan genocide. Yes. A grand period in African history. Truth is, most of the issues arose from colonial times. Yeah with colonialists favoring a minority over other tribes. Yeah. I'm sure you know Rwanda is predominantly Hutu and smaller minorities of Tutsi and Twa, the Aboriginal Pygmy tribe, mm -hmm. in case you don't know. But did you also know that Rwanda was formerly a part of German East Africa from 1897 to 1918? No. Did you know that you didn't know that? German? German East Africa. German East, East Africa. Formerly a part of German East Africa. There's something called German East Africa? Now you know. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know. Seen as you've been there. <clears throat> okay. And because you be that lavish guy, spending, okay. spending. Tell us what is the currency spent in Rwanda? Oh, come on, man. You didn't spend your money, dear. Oh, hold on. Why would you make me? <laughs> oh. What year was that, by the way? I just came back like a few months ago. Hold mm -hmm. on. 
You want... I hate simple questions and it's so hard to answer. Yeah, like you can see the answer. But it's so hard to... Yeah. Mm -hmm. See the answer, yeah. Cross. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Which kind of wahala is like this? Yeah, one? Jesus is Lord. Something way, like, I'm sure. Pen? No. Okay, I remember. What, do you have change? Pen, Rwandese? Rwandese? No. Ah, god damn it. How? Oh, man, this is going to be so annoying if I actually remember later. <coughs> this is the answer. Right. No, <laughs> shut up. No. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It is what it is. Pain. Yeah. Pain. Wait. I remember someone. One. Time out. Rowan D's. Final answer. It's not. It's that's oh, you did doubt yourself. I know it's not. It's not, it, it's not it. Hey, I just drink. This is something. No, thing. don't drink half. Scam. God damn it. <laughs> the Rwandan Frank. Ah, yeah. The Rwandan Frank. Fuck. Yeah. No it was there. just there. It was just there. It didn't happen. Ah. Yeah. Like, nah, that's just bad. <laughs> that's just bad. The Rwandan Frank. What, what, what did you go there to do? Just to chill and have fun? Yeah, I love it. It's like my second. I always yeah. go there. It's a nice place. Yeah. But thinking about it now, why did I not remember mm -hmm. Rwanda and Frank? The girls? Uh, they're amazing. Very, very homecoming and welcoming. Mm -hmm. And they're so nice. In what sense? So they actually like a lot of Nigerian people. Okay. And they are very nice people. And they are very, but their body um, is built in a very different way. Okay. Yeah, they're very, because of the heels. So the ladies walk a lot and they have so much, you know, artificial, like so many nice body to them. <coughs> so, so. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Cross. Uh, your question now. <laughs> I hate you for that, man. Ah. Uh, you know what? Let me switch it up again. Hey, God. <laughs> All right, let me see. All right. Dang, this one seems interesting. All right. Not too bad. All right. Okay, so I'm sure you've heard about the reigning thing called NFTs. So I would like you to explain the meaning of NFTs and what are the percent, what numbers of NFTs are sold every year, and what numbers of NFTs are sold. Oh, pretty yeah. much, let's just say um, 2022 or 2021, the amount of NFTs that have sold. So I will help you out because you could just the numbers. Are, I should just give. I'm, I'm going to help you out. Options. With a, option B, okay. so that it will be easy for you. I'm a very nice person. I'm not wicked, so I'm very like you know, mm. very very family. I'm team player. Mm. So I would like you to tell me the meaning of NFTs and secondly, um, so as I said, A, 1 to 2,000, B, 2,000 to 3,000, 2,000 to 4,000, C, 4,000 to 10,000, and D, 10,000 to 20,000 NFTs are sold every year. Every day? Yeah. Um, NFT, I know I'm just trying to get a grasp really? of what it is. Yeah. Um, non fungible fungible token. None? Non fun fungible token. Jungle. Fun fungible token. Yeah, non fungible. Really? Why are they wanting me? Um, NFT. I, um, non fun fun. Okay. Non fungible token. Non? NFT. Leave me! Then daily. No, yearly. It's yearly. Like, yeah. Hmm. So am I drinking full or half? Well, it's it's a it's a it's the one one question, but you you but you say you've gotten one, which you need to repeat again. Let me be sure you've gotten it. So can you repeat what is the meaning of NFT? Non fungible token. Okay. Thank you so much. Drink the whole. You feel it. <laughs> non non for f you. F you. <laughs> <laughs> Cross, nice one. Drink non, up. Non, no, non fungal, non fungal token. Non fungal token. Oh, you tried. Now, don't Af. drink. Oh, man. <laughs> non. When you finish, I'll tell you the real answer. Non fungible. 
Because that's what I said. No, you said non fungible. Non fungible. <laughs> non fungible token. No, you And how many it. yearly? Roughly within like 2,000 to 3,000 yearly. Yeah, Why is that though? Uh, daily, I'm sorry. Daily. Not daily, really. Um, because a lot of people are having like um, digital intelligence. Oh. So people are moving their assets more digital because with that you are the only one that can have access to it pretty much and okay. it's more authentic especially when it's built on the blockchain technology yeah. so a lot of things are going to be moved moved to the digital space in a few years to come so yeah. three four five years ten years everything is moving there so yeah so cross thank you for the lecture yeah. non-fungible token thank you now we know all right my next question I'm done. No. Oh, All yeah. right. Oh, yeah. My oh, next yeah. question. No, this one. I won't. I won't. I won't see the answer. Okay. All right. Let's see. Huh. <laughs> okay. This one. You might get this one, Sha. This one is not too hard. I don't know why, but you might get this one. Okay. So as a as a jagaban, which you are, they wind me. Information and technology. <laughs> <laughs> um. Last season was a very interesting year for big brother why because um women and men came in at the different time of the house for the first time so i would like you to tell me who was the last lady that came into the big brother's house Cross. last season yes my season ha. who was the last girl that came into big brother's house because why are you why did you like this now how <laughs> yes now I'm sure you can remember some of the ladies. I'm sure Angel is definitely your friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, Angel, Jackie B. Yeah. Licorose wasn't the first, definitely. Yeah. Licorose, my G. <sighs> there's Peace. Mm -hmm. There's Tega. Mm -hmm. There's Princess. Mm -hmm. There's Nini. Mm -hmm. Cross, how am I supposed to know the last girl that came in now? Huh? Well, just. The last girl? that came in yeah i'm sure that's right guys that's the question I, asked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I want to be sure if i ask a different question because i'm sure that's the question i asked that's not a fair question by the way that's not a fair question that's a very fair question she's a housemate and she came into the house so when and how did she come into the house fair or dark multicolored <laughs> <laughs> confuse me confusing me the more it's quite multicolored, so you don't know. I don't know. Cross, nice one. But it's up. Ciao. Yes, that's, that's the spirit, guy. That's the spirit. Welcome on board. Who was the last person? Nini. Cross, you know that's not even fair. That's not fair. You called you call the name. I'm like, okay, he got the name. But guys, I'm like, okay, he got the name. Cool. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> let's go on this break. And we'll be back with seven of seven. <laughs> <laughs>
happened with the when you said you didn't put it out yourself. Yeah. yeah, there's something that is called whatever that is. You know when people do that thing and they make will run and they will feel on a leaking mood out, leaking your mood. It's like a, a name. It's called pornography. <laughs> Cross <laughs> <laughs> the arts. Oh, the, the act. Yeah. Okay, the act of licking your doing nose that, out. doing doing something that will make people talk. I intentionally did this thing so that people will talk. Oh. Q Bob Risky. Oh God, yeah. What is that thing called? You know social media. Eh. Yeah. Yes, man. That's what the super social media people do. In this <laughs> you do wrong. You say social media people do like you're not part of them. Well, I guess I am now. <laughs> Before I wasn't, but I guess I What's am that? now. What's that called? Um. Honestly, I actually don't know. It's a very interesting one because I actually don't know. But I just think it's like, what is the cruise? Act? We call it cruise. Cruise where people. Go but that's not the answer. I that. know, like the cruise that people go and put, whether it's fake things, yeah. or whether it's real, just to get people's attention, just to get people talking about it. Mm. Yes, no, it's, it's pretty much called uh, social media. At the end of it, or oh, I don't know. I'm drinking. Yeah, yeah. There's a particular word. Like mm -hmm. this, this, this is vague. It's quite vague. If I'm being honest, this is quite vague. There's no particular answer. If I, I'm just drinking because she said I should drink. There's no particular answer. You think it's only that can be wicked? What answer? Sort of huge. Eh? Yeah. It suggests the act, adoption of a stratagem or ruse in order to escape guilt or to gain an end. The word contains Latin prefix sorta meaning secretly and the huge portion comes from the latin verb fugger which means to flee and which is also the source of words used as fugitive and refuge among others so there's a name that thing that's they claim you did but you said it just happened that and it's called what again such a huge such a huge s-u-b-t-e-r-f-u-g-e so you look me finish from head to toe you look at a person who could know what to be called for such such a huge <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know where, but no, uh, no vex. Right. I catch you now. Not be you. They ask me name of the last thing, last female inmates that entered. What do you call house. it again? Such a huge. Such a huge. So that that Such the 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 nude wasn't like a game plan. Or... I promise you, be it was be actually a mistake. Be like it was sending it to someone, and it just mistakenly just went bad guy. And it was just a you. You know, a couple of people feel because that day that it came out yeah you were on air yeah. you came for an interview yeah. that's on east okay. Flash tvc and people now said oh he actually did that so that they were asking and everything will now blow it's out not. of proportion that wasn't you it. see let me brace your bubble right okay you know that interview you were there you guys were meant to be there <laughs> so it was a day before the a day i missed a day yeah you yeah. know yeah i woke up late so my manager Cheta told me, get alpha, alpha, alpha. It was already late. And they told me that the next time you have to come because it's a life, it's in time. Yeah, life so this time around. So when I woke up this time around, I prayed, I do my thing. I went to the toilet, using the toilet. I won't know using your normal phone, Snapchat, <laughs> they did. So I see something that made me very happy. And I was just returning the favor to my friend, not knowing that he went on story. So when I did that and I heard my Cheta shouted cross. Like it's time for me interview. to go to interview. So me just quickly just drop my phone, actually run into the shower to quickly act as if I'm showering so that he will hear the shower sound yeah. or something like that. That's what I was trying to do. Not knowing I don't already, he's shouting my name yeah. because he saw that I posted Things something. don't go down. So I, as he ran into the toilet, he, where's your phone, where's your phone? I was like, he's in He just took it, he knows the password. He went in and looked at, it, like, looked at my phone. Like, nigga, you posted your new phone. I quickly deleted it. And as I was deleting it, I looked and I saw it was like two minutes and it was like over 40 something screenshots already done. Cast. So, and I was like, ah. No, 20 something screenshots. Yeah. I was like, ah, gone. The hell? So he was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I was like, I was just dumbfounded. I didn't even know what to do. I just quickly just went. He was like, okay, you need to leave mm -hmm. for your interview. And I showered, came out, and nothing happened first. Nothing happened. He was like, then one or two calls came in. I was like, so that like, go, go, go. Just, and just, just go. go and do When you get there, just act as if nothing happened. So, I, luckily for me, you guys didn't know anything. It was in the middle of the interview. <laughs> information came to we me. We just started saying things like, yeah. So, 
So when I saw the lady do like this, I was like, <laughs> they know. They know, they know, they know. So my mom was like, should I leave? Because my cousin told me, my mother told me, don't answer anything they say. Don't, don't answer. Yeah. So my mom was like, you know what? Let me just you be honest. You, you try to do that. Let me just be way. honest, see what yeah. happened. And that was it. And the only bad thing about the whole thing was my mom and my siblings, I was just worried about them. I don't actually care about any other person. For you guys, I don't care. But my Bad mom guy. and my siblings, yeah. those were the people I was worried about more. Mm -hmm. Like, how would they feel and how it will affect them. So when we spoke and we prayed and we all realized that it was a mistake and everything, I was good to go. Because oh, I know nothing like that will ever happen again. Never. So, mm -hmm. Well, to my best of knowledge, <laughs> nothing like that will ever happen again. <laughs> Definitely not. Now, let's, let's go to politics. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, you got heated backlash on Twitter after endorsing Atiku Abubakar for the 2023 presidency. You also said you have spoken with the former vice president before proceeding to ask who the public thought would be the politician's running mate. Yeah. Apparently, you're vested in politics, it would seem, and of course, you're cool with the former vice president vying for the position. So tell us, since his entry into politics in 1989, how many times as your friend, your guy, Atiku Abubakar, contested for the office of the president of Nigeria. How many times? I'm not going to ask you to list the years. Because I see say they get them, I'm assuming you list the years, sure. How many times has he contested to become the president of Nigeria? Um, in should we do 20 seconds? 30 seconds? Now you're getting them. I don't know. <laughs> Five. What years? That's going to be a tricky one. Okay. 19. I'm not still going to say whether you were right okay. or wrong, but what years? Because I'm not good with maths. No, go no, I'm Google. Not I'm not good in Google. I just want to calculation. I'm not good with maths too much. So I just want to like try and Calculate. see. Calculate. So 2019. I see what you're trying to do. 2015. I see what you're trying to do. 2011. I see what you're trying to do. 2007. I see what you're trying to do. Yeah. One more. Yeah. 2003. Final answer. Four times. Five times, are you? Four times. Oh, you feel it's four times? Yeah. Yes, four times. Four times at the yeah. Quebec <coughs> contested for presidency. Well, is this time fifth time? Yeah. Okay. Five in total, yeah. Final answer? Yeah, five. Five in total, yeah. plus this time, yeah. five. Okay, um, cross, drink. Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah. Which, how did I feel it? Uh, the drink first. You were correct initially when you said five. Mm -hmm. Already, it should be like six times. And the years, I like what you were doing. Yeah. Yeah, there's the 2019. Yeah. There's the 2015. Uh -huh. There's the 2011. Uh -huh. There's the 20, 2027, uh -huh. 2007. And you remember the old Abiola King Ibe? Oh, yeah. One, 1993. Ah, oh, it's true. I missed that one. Sorry. Yeah. I forgot. I got yeah. you. True. That was almost close. As I was doing minus four, I say it's getting there. Minus four. I forgot about that one. It's sure. getting there. My bad. Minus four. When you now got to the minus four of 2007, because I know that <laughs> he was he couldn't yeah yeah he didn't run article on the grind yes. yeah yeah well he's definitely doing it because he knows what he wants and okay he, oh, he definitely is gonna get his shout cross the bus yes buddy your turn <laughs> okay so we turn our show to campaign ground <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see let's see this okay all right. Oh, I, I, I can see the answer already. You can? Well, <laughs> fascinating. All right, this is quite interesting. So I'm a very big 
believer of animals. I love animals. Animals are being one of the most important things that God ever created on earth. So, uh, would you please name the five smartest animals on earth? Cross! Five? Yeah, smartest animals on earth. Go ahead, tell me. Human being. <laughs> That's a good one, but no, I mean literally animals, not us that are evolved, like proper, proper animals. And God created animals. Five smartest. Yeah. An eagle. Okay, one. <laughs> Ant. Huh. Okay, two. Cross this question. <laughs> Five smart. A snake. Huh. Three. <laughs> Three. smart again. Ego and snake. Cat, they are ca a, a dog. Okay. A dog. Okay. Four. Cat, they have one one way that they behave that they think they are. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. Um scratch. Cat. Okay. Let me put a dolphin. A dolphin. Okay. A dolphin. Five. Five. That's an eagle. I don't forget what I thought. Ants. Ant, snake. Snake. Dog. dog and dolphin. And dolphin. Five smartest animals. I I... Well, okay. Just give me a second. Well, you definitely did your best. You tried. <laughs> But unfortunately, you got a drink. Five of them? Yeah, you, you got one or two to drink up. So should I take a? No, drink. <laughs> <laughs> you even get more than half. Five smartest? Yeah. Which one was correct? Dolphin. Oh. Dolphin is there. So you forgot to add elephant. Elephant smart. Too smart. It's like number one safe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you forgot to add uh, pig. Yeah, pig is fucking you didn't smart. Me, no. I swear. Uh, pig. Forgot, yeah. Pork meat. Yeah, fortunately, yeah. They are quite smart. Forgot to add uh, chimpanzee. Monkeys, yeah, they're so fucking smart. Chimpanzee. Uh, yeah, also you, you, yeah. Poo, you poo came from there. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you missed that. But it's okay. So let's see. Let's move on to the next one. You've not completed the five. Oh. Dog and dolphin. Yeah, five. Yeah. I want to go call pig, smart animal. Pig that will just be rubbing dead. They are very back. smart. It's to be shocked. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So yeah. Okay. Thank you for drinking. So, yeah. All right. Next question. Let's see. Let me ask him a smartest animal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like to mix things around. Okay. Let's see what this has. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is a bit personal. Okay, uh, you might get this. All right, so since I become who I have been, oh, I have been given so many names, and I want you to get at least six of the names. Ah, cross, cross. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Six of names. This is just wicked nice one. Cross. Mm -hmm. All of your names. Yeah. Including your real name. Yeah. Why six? There are a lot of them. I have so many names. So I just want you to get like six is okay. Okay, the intro we talked about um, Sunday. Okay. Ikechuku. Mm -hmm. Okonkwa. Mm -hmm. That's three. Mm, cross. Mm -hmm. That's four. Uh, Turn up guy. No, cross the boss. Does that work? Cross the boss. Did you add that? Yeah. Okay. Five. Okay. Party animal. Ooh, oh boy. No. Oh, you tried the drink. So that's six. Yeah. No, no, no. None of. I, how many did I miss? You got five. You failed the last one. Oh, so that's half. 
No, it's six. Cross. It's six. It's six. Cross six. Yeah. I got five. Yeah. You drink. I'll drink this one. No, you drink. <laughs> Across. Because That's I knew you were gonna get it. That if I told you to get, if I wanted you to call all my names, of course you're gonna get. It. I'm not that simple now. I knew Okonko. You know Okonko. Cross. Come on. That's why I said. Six. Come, so. Yeah. So. Because am I supposed to drink full one or half? Yeah, because you didn't get. I got five. Six. You have to get six, because it's very easy. You see, that, you see that Cross is cheating me. No, I'm not cheating. I'm actually not cheating. It's very simple. That's why I told you it's simple. It's personal. If it was difficult, I'll tell you half. But it's simple. Come on, Okonko, Ike Chukun. Literally, you know that. So just drink it. I'll tell you. The one that literally. You, you were close. But Wait, I'm close. Yeah, you were close. But you've already said it. It has to do with party. No. It has to do with lifestyle. Yeah. Turn up king. No. Everybody can be called Turn Up King. Like my name, those names are specifically when they mention those names, you know that this is who they are. If you say Turn Up King, we have so many Turn Up yeah, Kings. Sure, when you say like, I understand. When you mention this name, you know, okay, we are specifically talking about this person. So that's what I'll tell you. Turn Up Guy. Do you know how many Turn Up Guy? So that's why I say drink. <laughs> There's so many Turn Up Guy. No. Come on, you are trying. You are trying. I'll Cross, tell you. Cross, Sunday, mm -hmm. Ikechuku. Yeah. Kokonko. Yeah. Cross the bus. I'll do half of this one. No, because it's so simple. That means you don't. You didn't do your homework. Just bad drink. Ladies man, bad guy. Do you know how many ladies man that day? Cross, leave me. <laughs> Go, <Huh? in> boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on this break <laughs> and we'll be back. <laughs> Shock you. <laughs> Shock you. Welcome back from that break. Um, <laughs> as it seems. Yep, yep, yep. Four and a half, four and a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on each side, so it's a tie. Two yep. glasses full on our side. Your oh, last question, question. before right. I give you my last question, which is like the Joker. Trust no, me. No, you, you, oh, yeah, you, you have to go now. <laughs> you, 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 no, you've you. asked all your questions. This guy. You've asked all your questions. I'm the last, so you can't tell me to go first because I just asked you. So you go. You answer your last question. Cross, right? if you do not answer this question, you will drink. Okay, go ahead. Let me see what I got to do. Go ahead. The name of the person you sent the nude to <laughs> <laughs> the name of the person you send your nude picture to yeah and we have an idea who the person is so if you call one okay the name of the person and if you don't give us the name that we know or the name that is everywhere because you know there's a name attached to what <laughs> went viral <laughs> If you cannot yeah, tell us, if you, can, human if you cannot tell us, you will drink. <laughs> um, you are actually a very wicked human being, aren't you? Um, so I should tell you the name. If I tell you the name, I won't drink. Yeah, if you don't tell us, you will drink. You can just save our distress and just drink. So what's that name? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys do, do you guys still exchange stuff regularly? Oh, that remember. was the last. I can't remember anymore. Like oh. the alcohol has wiped away my memory. You people don't share. I actually can't remember anymore. Because I remember when we started when we started the conversation earlier. You said she sent you something and it just blew your mind. You just had to reciprocate. So well, if that's what I said, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Your last question, cross. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, let me make this very simple. It's not too bad. All right, okay. Let me make this. Let's, let's, you know what? <laughs> let's see what fit has. Okay, I think that sounds like a correct one. Oof. Okay, well, pretty much what I had in mind. If I'm, I think the same line, not too far, but close, uh. to, close to. Okay, this is more of me. Um, so let's make it a little bit personal. All right. So as you all have said, Cross is a, a 
a turn up king, mm -hmm. he's a turn up guy, he's a party animal, he's a shower. He's gonna steal your girlfriend, yeah. He's gonna steal your girlfriend, it's so many things. All right, so which is correct? Cross would rather have sex with a pretty little lady or Cross would rather make out, kiss a pretty lady or Cross would rather do foreplay with a pretty lady, which is correct. Hmm, the times we watched you on the show. Four play. Sex, like, this is two options, I mean. Three. Maybe three. Make out. Yeah. Four play. Sex. Four cross loves. <laughs> Best of luck. Not you having sex. No, just answer. Because people that know me know what I am capable of. So. Cross foreplay. Yeah. Foreplay. That's if I answer? Yeah. Alright. I like you. I best believe you. You got it correct. <laughs> because, because, because Loki, <laughs> watching the show, like, Cross, run, run this thing for. No. You know what? Let's just go through that. Runner. Did you did you ever in the house? I actually don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> so as it seems. Yeah, you won. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh, he's drinking it for the road. One, two, three, four, five glasses down, except the one they drank. Uh, one, two, three, four, empty on my side. So, ladies and gentlemen, you have your winner for tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, we've come to the end of this session right here on 7 I'm sorry, of 7. Guys. I tried. But that's not all, Cross. Uh -huh. As always, the tradition right here is to check your sobriety to know if you are still normal or shaky. Oh, yeah. uh, before we let you go, call it the walk of shame and you won't be wrong. Okay. We are doing tongue twister as oh. usual. My tongue is not really good for twisting. Six Sleek, which is the name of your brand, by the way. Oh. See slick swan swan swiftly southwards. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Peace guys. Enable for that. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come at disgrace in live TV. Cross, definitely thank you for, for, for coming right here on the 7 of 7. Yep. And we remain grateful that you would grace our show right here tonight. Thank and of you. course with your presence. We wish you all the very best. Amen. Lifestyle, turn Amen. up king. Amen. And the girl. If they come, thank God. Thank God. And that's the show, ladies and gentlemen, this evening. And we hope you enjoyed it and you were educated. Yep. Join us again next time as we drink on 7 of 7. My name is OJ and, of course, we had Cross, Cross. right here in the building. Mm -hmm. Like I always say, yeah. do not drink and drive or else you might spill your drink. I'm not driving back to the yeah. home. Good night. Driver, so. <laughs> Good you night, guys. guys. Thank you. Peace. <laughs> All right.